Dear Dad, Dear Dad, Today, 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 I looked death right in the face. I was scared, I was scared, just a little bit, just a little bit. But I knew either I was gonna have to go, gonna have to go, or he was. I don't, I don't, I don't think I would have had it any other way. But this is how it played out. Growing up, I always wanted to be a cop. I hated the drunk people, the drug dealers, gangs, thieves, and many others. I always wanted to put them in jail. Here we are, home sweet home. I got up this morning and it felt like a feat. There were thoughts running through my head stuck on repeat. I questioned my decisions I made in third grade, 18 years, and still his memories won't fade. I keep popping these pills like they're painkillers for when the pain kills, and I know I say stupid shit just for the cheap thrills, because everybody knows the smiles until they meet the frowns, and everybody sees the highs until they see the downs. Why can't I just be honest with myself and just say, I'm not meant to do anything but lie in my bed all day. And if you're going to leave, make it quick. Because the longer you take, the slower you move, the more you hurt, the more I break. And I'm not sure how much of that I can take. meant to be. At 3.45 a.m., the city's gravel trucks and asphalt sprayers loudly announced their intentions to entertain. Their percussion concert, accompanied by their truly unique and totally obnoxious aroma, ended any thoughts I had of sleep, of dreams, of sanity, or of ever again regaining normal hearing. 